Hello students, let us start our new session of chapter number 10, Light, Reflection and Refraction. Now, if you want to understand the image formation in lens by the ray diagram for the convex and concave mirror, so here, as you can see that in first a diagram, that if ray of light of, uh, from the object which is available parallel to the principal axis. So after refraction from concave lens, it will pass through the focus point on another side as you can see over here at F2. And if the, if the ray of light is available parallel to the principal axis for concave lens, then refracted ray will diverge from the focus point onto the same side of the lens which will pass from F1 as you can see in concave lens diagram. Next, if a ray of light is passing through the focus point of the convex lens F1, then refracted ray for concave lens uh, that will parallel to the principal axis as you can see in the diagram A. And for the concave lens, if the in, uh, incident ray of light will pass through the focal point F2, then after refraction it will be parallel to the principal axis as you can see in the diagram B. Next, if a ray of light passing through the optical center of lens for a convex and concave lens, then it won't deviate and it will propagate further in the same direction. So here, as you can see that uh, from, the, from the diagram A, as you can see that all these particular Incident rays will pass through the parallel to the principal axis for convex lens. Then all that refracted ray will merge at point F2 and it will generate a point size image which is other side of the lens means real and inverted. Here this is the ray diagram which we have concluded by the table. Earlier, if the object is available beyond the twice F, uh, twice F1, then from point A, the incident array will pass from origin, so it will propagate further. And from point A, the parallel to the principal axis, it will pass through the F2, it will give you the A dash while they merge, and uh, image will be generated A dash B dash which is other side means real and inverted by the smaller size. In diagram C, as you can see that object is available at twice F1. So its image will form at a twice F2, which is real and inverted having the same size. In the diagram D, you can see that object is available between F1 and twice F1. So its image will be formed beyond a twice F2, having the larger size than object which is real and inverted. In the diagram E, as you can see, if object is available at F1, then its image will form at infinity, having highly enlarged size, which is real and inverted. And in the diagram F, as you can see, if the object is available between F1 and O, then its image will be formed at the same side of the lens, beyond the twice F1, which is denoted as A dash, B dash, virtual and erect. And for the concave lens, as you can see that if object is available at infinite distance, then image will form at F1 at the same side of the object, means point size, virtual and erect. And if in the second case, in the diagram B, as you can see, if object is available at finite distance uh, beyond F1, then its, uh, its image will generate between F1 and O, 
having the smaller size virtual and erect now if we define a sign convection for spherical surface so the same sign convection rule we can define that focal length of convex lens is positive and for the concave lens focal length is negative now for u v and f h and h dash we can select the appropriate sign as we uh, consider for the mirror and here the lens formula we are having with the smaller difference is there with the negative sign that 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u and mirror formula was 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u just a sign difference is there and here the magnification we get the magnification of the generated image while we compare the height of the image and the object which is denoted as h dash height of image and h the height of object so magnification m equal to h dash by h and based on the distance magnification we are having v by u for the mirror it was minus v by u so here magnification m equal to h dash by h equal to v by u now let us understand its uh, examples that a concave lens has a focal length of 15 cm so at which distance should the object from the lens be placed so that it forms an image at 10 cm from the lens also find the magnification produced by the lens so here concave lens always forms a virtual and erect image so image distance v that is a minus negative sign because it is same side of the object so negative 10 cm focal length is again available for concave lens same side of the object on the minus x direction that is f equal to minus 15 cm we need to determine by u by the lens formula 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u substitute the values of v and f and make the subject of formula of u so we able to get object size which is negative it means object is uh, on the minus x direction now if we want to determine the magnification then m equal to v by u substitute the value of v and u and it will give you 0.33 positive positive sign it means generated image is virtual and erect and here value is less than 1 it means a generated image size is smaller than the object by the factor 0.33 now the next example is a 2 cm tall object is placed perpendicular to the principal axis of convex lens of focal length 10 cm the distance of the object from the lens is 15 cm find the nature position and size of the image also find its magnification so here we are calculating for convex lens height of the object is above the principal axis it means a positive 2 cm focal length it is available on the positive x direction opposite side of the object it means plus 10 cm object is available on the left side it means minus x direction means u equal to minus 10 cm here we need to determine image size distance v and height of the image again use the lens formula 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u make the subject of formula v and substitute the value of u and f we able to get plus 30 cm it means generated image is other side of the uh, lens on the plus x direction it means generated image is real and inverted and here if you want to determine its a uh, height of the image so m equals to magnification m equal to h dash by h equal to v by u make the subject of formula h dash equal to h v by u 
substitute the value of h v and u we will get minus 4 centimeter that is a generated height of image so magnification we are having minus 2 negative sign of m and h dash suggests that image will be real and inverted that is below the principal axis that is a negative y direction and a magnification value is higher than 1 it means generated image size is higher than the object the enlarged image will be generated now the next point is power of a lens a convex lens of short focal length bends the light rays through the larger angles by focusing closer to the optical center. So convex lens of very short wave focal length cause a higher divergence than a longer focal length. So degree of convergence or divergence of light rays which is defined by the power of the lens. And this power of the lens is reciprocal to its focal length. Power of the length denoted as a P. So P equal to 1 by F. SI unit of power is diopter which is denoted as a D. F is in a meter. So 1 diopter equal to 1 meter inverse. And power of convex lens is positive. And power of concave lens is negative based on the focal length sign convection. So while optician prescribed corrective lens powers that for example plus 2 diopter. It means the convex lens is required to use. And if focal length, uh, focal length of the lens is 0.5 meter means power is minus 2.5 diopter. So, the focal length is minus 4. We require concave lens to use to see properly. Clear? Here, we are going to end this session. With that, we are going to end this chapter. Hope you understood thoroughly. Thank you.